This is a straightforward amendment. Since the 1940s, uh, medical expenses have been allowed to be deducted, and it is such an important and critical thing for so many of our senior citizens. Let's review. Who claims medical expense deduction? 8.8 .8 million tax filers with significant out-of-pocket medical cost. Seniors in need of long-term care. Parents with a special needs child. Those suffering from Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, cancers. In my state of Connecticut, 116,390 people claim this deduction, averaging $11,114,000 in qualified, and I repeat that, in qualified medical expenses. The Connecticut State Department of Revenue Services says elimination of the deduction is a $1.6 billion hardship for Connecticut taxpayers at all levels. We've heard throughout this, Republicans will say this is a tax loophole for the rich, but this is a middle in class deduction. The AARP whose comments I asked to be submitted earlier, states that of the 8.8 .8 million, 6.3 million had incomes of 75,000 or less. If you are wealthy, then you must have to be very sick to have medical expenses exceeding 10% of your income. 8.8 .8 million may represent 6% of the tax filers, but these are friends, families, neighbors facing devastating illnesses or supporting parents and spouses in need of full-time and long-term care. I appeal to my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, as I will repeatedly say, you are honorable men and women. You have got to know the same friends and neighbors and people that are impacted by this. Are we going to force everybody to spend down what they have and go on to the Medicaid program and further burden that on something that's been on the books since the 1940s? I had a mother that had multiple sclerosis. I know how these diseases can impact the families and their desire to help and pitch in and do whatever we can so that when there's an opportunity like this, and it's why I think the, AR the ARP is so right on when they talk about this, you know, for, there are 4,528,000 of those claiming this that receive less than 50,000. And what age group claims the medical expense deduction? 55% are 65 and older. 18% 50 to 64 years of age. So this is direct assault. On the other, it's no wonder that the AARP has come out so strongly against us and why we on this side feel, and I do believe that you on this side will join us as well on this because this is devastating to individual families and a tax deduction that they previously have joined. And with that, I will yield back.